Hello students. Uh, today I'm uploading a video for you about Narcan administration. Uh, you should have already gone through the Narcan administration slides, the PowerPoints that were on uh, the Google Classroom. And this will kind of just show you a basic introduction on the skill. Once we get back to class together, together again, we'll be going through a lot of skills and we kind of backed up on them. But I'm going to try and upload some videos showing you how we would like you to do skills and being very particular about them. Uh, today we're going to do Narcan administration through what's called the MAD device or the mucosal atomizing device. The mucosal atomizing device and Narcan are uh, given to us in what's called a uh, pre-filled syringe. We use a lot of pre-filled syringes in EMS. We have many medications on the ambulance which use a pre-filled syringe. I got some examples here to show you. Uh, D50, dextrose 50 that we would give to a patient who is having blood sugar problems, comes in a big pre-filled syringe. Sodium bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate is used for uh, especially cardiac arrest situations by LOS providers uh, when patients have been down for a long time. That also comes in a pre-filled syringe. Lidocaine, lidocaine is a cardiac medication, also comes in a pre-filled syringe. Epinephrine, Epinephrine, this is epinephrine 1 to 10,000, not the 1 to 1,000 we would use for a uh, patient who's having an allergic reaction, but 1 to 10,000, that's cardiac epinephrine. That also comes in a pre-filled syringe. We also have atropine. Atropine sulfate is a, another cardiac medication. This medication also comes in a pre-filled syringe. The pre-filled syringe that we're going to use today is this. This is naloxone or as we know it commonly, Narcan, given for patients who have opiate overdoses. Basic EMTs in the state of Ohio are allowed to give Narcan as long as they use the mucosal atomizing device. This is the mucosal atomizing device right here. It's just a red, or it's just a rubber tip that screws on to the syringe. It does not have uh, any needles or anything like that, so it's very safe to use. Narcan comes to us in a pre-filled syringe, so if you can put this together, you can put any of these others together as well. So let's take a look at what's in here. When we open up the, uh, the medication, first of all, checking to make sure it's the right medication, that it's not expired. We always want to check expiration dates. They're usually stamped on the end. Open it up, and we have inside a vial with medication in it. Always look at the vial. The expiration date is also here on the vial as well. And we have the syringe. So when we put those two together, we start out by taking the tops off of either one, pop the tops off. And you'll notice that inside here, there's a rubber stopper. Inside this part, there's a needle. It is a sharp needle, I guarantee you. you if you poke your finger in there to see that it's sharp, you're going to get your finger cut. Now that's going to violate the first rule of being an EMT, which is don't become a victim because now you poked your finger and you're bleeding everywhere. And most importantly, we can't use this now because you bled all over it and that patient who needs the Narcan is not going to be able to get any. So don't touch it. Once we've done this, we basically put these two together, this end into here, Kind of like docking the space station with the space shuttle. There's the space shuttle over here. Here comes the space station. They're going to dock with it. Give it a couple twists. And now that's all you need for the needle to go through that rubber stopper. You can take this top off, yellow top, and there should be no needle. If you take it off and there is a needle, you need to put that away. It's not in your scope of practice to give IM Narcan, so you're going to need to make sure that you use the uh, mucosal atomizing device. Mucosal atomizing device looks like this. You can see it's got a rubber tip to it and it screws right on the top of the Narcan. Put the two together and screw it on there and you'll notice that when you press on the bottom like a plunger, you're going to get some medication that's going to come out the top there. The way it's designed is for half of it to go up one nose, nostril, the other half goes up another nostril, and you use up the whole uh, vial that way. When we use others, like this atropine right here, I'll go over using that as well too. 
I look at the top, the top has the date, expiration date stamped on it. I'm going to open that up and you'll notice that inside are the same things. We have a vial of medication and we have a device to uh, apply that medication. Works the same way. Pop the top off, pop this top off here. We have the rubber stopper and we have the oh so very sharp needle. Put the two together again, twist it, it'll break the seal there and now medication will come out. You take the top off and this is what we would use to uh, put medication in what's called a needleless port. Here I have an IV tubing here and this right here is the needleless port and very simply you take your needleless uh, syringe and you screw it on. Now that medication can be pushed through that IV line. Uh, this one right here is called a needle port. It looks a little bit different. You would need a needle to puncture that rubber surface there and deliver medication. Needleless ports of course are a lot safer because there are no needles involved and a less chance of sharps. A good hint for you when you're giving medications is to take one of the box tops, in this case we'll take the atropine, and rip that top right off the box. Write down on the back of this what time you gave that medication. So uh, right now it is uh, 340, so I'm going to write 1540, and then I'm going to put this medication in my pocket. When I get to the hospital now, and the medic has to fill out a report, and he wants to know, hey, what time did we give that atropine? You can look through your pocket, and you can find, oh, atropine. Here's the atropine, and then you can look on the back, and you can see what time that it was given. That's a big help in writing reports. Plus, if you're keeping the tops with the names of the medication on it, then all you need to do is pull that out. You'll know what medication you, you gave. You'll know what time you gave that medication. Hey, hopefully you found that helpful. When we get back together, we'll practice this together, uh, putting these together and using them in class, and plus a lot of these other pre-filled syringes as well. Uh, all these medications we give come in pre-filled syringes, so be prepared to put any number of them together to help out when you're on an ambulance call. I'll uh, be uploading some more of these for you guys to look at. Uh, keep watching Google Classrooms. Make sure that you're looking for any of the updates. Uh, and make sure you're looking for any of these videos that we update as well. Thanks, have a great day.